Hello everyone. As we can see that we have so many different types of math questions in front of us. We have the order of operations, we have the system of equations, square roots, fractions, and also creating a table. Instead of going over these questions step by step, today I would like to show you how to use a scientific calculator to check the answer for you, not to do the question for you. On your homework, on your exams, you still need to know the order of operation. You still need to know the right procedure on how to solve the system of equations. You still need to show all the steps. But if you are familiar with this calculator that I'm about to show you, then you can use the calculator to check the answer for you、um, on the exams. Okay, to check the answer for you. That way, you can make sure that you get these questions correct. Then go to the next one. Okay, that way you can make sure that you get your A's and B's、um, in your math class. The calculator that I want to introduce is this one. This is the calculator that I always like to recommend. That's the Casio scientific calculator. The model number is FX one one five ES, and this is the plus version of it. There's also an old one. Okay, so the the older one is just the one one five ES, but they are pretty much the same, about ninety percent the same. Throughout the video, I will show you guys how to use this calculator, but they have the same keys. Um, they have about ninety percent the same keys and then the same location of the keys. Okay, and what's so good about this calculator is that it has what they call the natural display. That allows us to enter whatever that we see on the cal on the paper onto the calculator. Okay, and I will show you guys how to do all these operations、um, on this calculator. And you can look at my description and download the file, and you can practice.、Uh, This math questions on this calculator、um, with 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 me on the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is、uh, fractions. Okay, fractions, mixed numbers, decimals, and percentage. So let me turn on this calculator. And first of all, this calculator has a fraction button right here. Right, so you can see you have a box over a box. So if you hit that, then right here. You can see that on the calculator, it shows you a box on the top over a box on the bottom. So the top box allows you to enter the numerator. So for question number one A, we need to reduce twelve over thirty-two. So on the top, I just need to enter twelve. So twelve, and then now I finish the numerator. I need to go down to the denominator. So we are going to use these keys: the up, left, down, right key. I need to go down. So press the down button. Now look at the、uh, the cursor is on the the denominator. Then we can just enter thirty two, and he equal, and there we have it. The answer is three over eight. So the calculator once you enter this、um, fraction, it will reduce the fraction for you, and we get this is equal to three over eight. Again, you still need to know how to reduce this fraction by hand, because four goes into twelve three times, four goes into Thirty-two eight times. That's why it's three over eight. Okay, but I will just show you guys on how to use this calculator throughout this video and throughout these worksheets. Okay, next I want to convert the same fraction twelve over thirty-two into a decimal. So if you just、um, let me retype this again. So let me enter the fraction key twelve on the top. I need to go downstairs, right? So move the cursor downstairs by pressing this down button. I need to put thirty two on the bottom, and if I hit equal, this calculator is programmed so that it will always return you a fraction whenever it is possible. Whenever it's possible, they will always return you a fraction first. But in this case, I want a decimal. In that case, you just need to press this S to D key. I think the S stands for like symbol or、um, switch, switch to decimal. I I'm not really, really sure what does the S stands for, but D just stands for decimal. Okay, once we once we press this button, three over eight becomes zero point three seven five. So twelve over thirty two is、uh, the same as zero point three seven five as the decimal. Zero point three seven five. Okay. Next, I want to convert the decimal into a fraction. The decimal is zero point two eight. So let me erase this. So what I need to do is. Just need to press zero point two eight, and to change to a fraction, we just actually need to 
press the equal sign. Because the calculator will always try to return you a fraction first. 0 0.28 is the same as 7 over 25 as a fraction. And that's it. So that's how we convert a decimal into a fraction. This is 7 over 25. Okay. I think I'll put the calculator right here on this side. It's easier for, uh, for me to see and the lighting is better. Anyways, question 3. I want to convert. 38, sorry, 39 over 7 into first a decimal. So I will do the same. So go to the fraction button. I need a 39 on the top. So press 39. And to have a 7 on the denominator. So go downstairs. So make sure the cursor is on the denominator. And then press 7. And hit equal. And as you can see that once you enter the fraction, it's also going to return your fraction. So use this key, switch to decimal, S2D key. We get that. So this is 0 0.571428. And they have a bar on the top. So this means the digits 571428, they are repeating. So if I write this out, we will have 5.571428. Right, this digits, and then it will repeat. 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, and so on. But they will just show you a bar for the repeating digits. Okay? And when you're doing um, when you when you are doing this question by hand, when you divide 39 to 7, I think you just need to use like a two or three decimal place. That's usually good enough. So I will say this is about 5.571. Okay? And then notice that 39 over 7 is an improper fraction because the top is bigger than the bottom, right? So, we can change that to a mixed number. In that case, uh, let me show you guys right here. So, um, look at the calculator. On the S2D key, we see the ABC key right here, right? And notice that this is exactly in the form of the mixed number. We have a whole number and a proper fraction. This key is in orange, right? This part is in orange. So in order for us to use this key, we must hit the shift first. So let me do that. So I want to change 39 over 7 into a mixed number. So I need to hit the shift first. And notice that this part right here, this little s pops up. After you hit the shift key, that little s will pop up. That means that you hit the shift key already. Then. I need to hit the S2D key because that will change to a mixed number for you. We get 4, I mean we get 5 and 4 over 7. 5 and 4 over 7 as a mixed number. Okay? So that's how you count that's how you convert into a decimal or a mixed number. Now we are going to add fraction and a mixed number. So let me clear this. I need to compute 5 over 12. So I need a fraction, the fraction key right here, 5, 5 on the top, and then go downstairs, 12. Okay. And now, as you can see that the cursor is still on the denominator, I need, to make I need to make sure that the cursor is on the right, so press the right button to kick the cursor on the side, the line, right, it's the shiny thing right here. Then I need to put a plus sign, so plus. I need to enter a mixed number right here. And to enter a mixed number, we are going to use this key right here. So it has a little box in front of the fraction key. Okay? And it's in orange. So in order for us to use this, we need to hit the shift first and then the fraction key. So let me do that. Hit the shift. Notice that the S pops up right here. And then hit the fraction key. And it will show you a street box, right? A street box um, symbol. On the front, that's where you are going to put the whole number, which will have a street. Three in the front. The cursor is right here on the side. We need to make sure it's on the top. So press right to go up to the top. Then we have um, one on the top. And you can press right or down, I think. Press right, it also goes down to the denominator. Press eight on the bottom. We got 85 over 24 and that's the answer 85 over 24 
When you are doing this fraction calculations, the calculator will always reduce the answer for you. Okay, so this is in a um, reduced form already. But this is an um, improper fraction. If you want a mixed number, again, hit the shift, hit the S2D, we get the improper fraction. Sorry, we get a mixed number. We change the improper fraction to a mixed number. So this is the same as saying 3 and 13 over 24. Okay? Next, we are going to deal with some percentages. I need to convert 92% into first a fraction. So let me erase this. So I need to get 92%. So let me hit the 92 first. 92. And let me show you guys where the percentage symbol is. It's right here. Right, that's the percentage symbol. Again, it's in orange. Again, it's in orange. So we need to hit the shift first and then percentage. And to get a fraction, we just need to hit equal. And that changed the, the calculator changed the 92% into 23 over 25 for us. 23 over 25. This is the simplest form of the fraction already. Okay? And if you want decimal, just press the S2D. You get 0 0.92. Right? 92% if we move the decimal point twice to the left because 92 is a whole number so we have a decimal point right here originally move it twice to the left 1, 2 we get 0 0.92 as a decimal okay number 6 I need to compute 9.25% of 350 so this is kind of like a um, tax question Right? Because, for example, if you are buying a computer for $350 and the tax rate is 9.25%, so how much, pa uh, how much tax do you have to pay? So, the word of means multiply. Whenever you see the word of by itself, you multiply. So what we are going to do is, we need to enter 9.25%. 9.25%. So, hit the shift, hit this button. I need to multiply, so this is the multiplication, multiply by 350, 350, and let me hit equal. Again, I get a fraction, but I, won't, I don't really know what this is, right? Because when you are t talking about money, when you are talking about tax, if you just have a fraction, then we don't really, uh, it's hard to understand how big this number is. So we, are, we want to use a decimal. Hit the S to D key. So that's 32, this is 32.375. So that may be how much tax that do you, that may be how much tax that you have to pay for the computer. Okay, next one, compute. Uh, we're going to divide fractions. Uh, the first one, I have 16 over 45. So hit the fraction, 16 on the top, go down, I need a 45, so 45, and not equal yet. I need to divide, so make sure the cursor is on the right, on the side. Let's press right. Then I need to divide, so hit the division key right here. Another fraction, 12 over 25. So fraction key, 12 on the top. Go down and hit 25. And then I can just hit equal. We get 20 over 27. Okay, so they are pretty cool, right? Because first of all, the calculator there's fraction, adding fractions, multiplying fractions, divide fractions, percentage, and all that. And um, I will do a lot more. Just watch the other videos, and I'll show you guys how to do the order of operations, how to solve equations uh, on this calculator. Okay.